Becky, first question from the se second row center. Eden Lassie, Just Women Sports. Um, Kelsey was able to really get going today by getting to the basket. How was she able to exploit that defensive matchup and drive all the time? Well, you have to respect her three ball. So right there, you get to attack closeouts every time because you don't want to let her just shoot threes. Even though she's been a little off this series, um, just the threat of her. You, you don't want to get uh, let her get rolling from there. So um, she's fast. <laughs> she's fast with the ball. And uh, I just wanted to lose her until she needed to live in the paint. And we live with whatever she does in there. Next, next question, uh, front row to your right. Hi, Becky. Um, just in general with the offense, I know there was a cl clip of you on the broadcast saying that you were so happy with how the team was able to control the paint. What did you see overall that was working so well offensively compared to game one? They said I said that. What did they, they said I said that? Oh, they had to, <laughs> you were very happy that your team was up, uh, doubling them up in the paint. Well, I was just very happy with our paint defense. Um, the fact that we were getting downhill in the paint offensively obviously um, helped us. Uh, again, I thought Kelsey's drives opened us up. And I mean, the other day we got good looks again from three. We didn't knock them down, but you got to believe the worm will turn there eventually. Um, the more important thing is that we're getting good looks when she gets in there. Um, but yeah, that's a huge part of the series for us is the paint. Uh, just a note for those of you in the room, Connecticut locker room is now open. Becky, your next question will come from the second row to the right. Congrats, Betsy. <laughs> Congrats, Becky. Um, in that third quarter, they kind of started to get back in it, cut the lead, I think, to 49, 46, and then you guys answered with a run. be curious what changed at that point. What did you say? Because you guys kind of grabbed control and rolled the rest of the way. Not really. I just said it starts on the defensive end, and it, our defense sucks. And then they ran out and didn't suck. That's them. They they know what they're supposed to do. And it's my job to remind them what they're supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, they got to go out and do it. And they do, you know. So um, we got a group that, uh, and I didn't like offensively what we were doing. I thought I got real stagnant in that thing. And so I wanted to just get the ball popping a little bit more. So it was kind of twofold. Becky, next question, third row to your left. Uh, Becky, the, the Sun have been a resilient team all postseason. How do you balance you know, the excitement as a team with going up 2-0 while, while still staying locked in with the opponent like this? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see any banners. I don't see any balloons. I'm sure as hell glad I didn't see that confetti again because we ain't won nothing yet. Becky, next question, second row center. Hey, Becky, um, going back to the end of the second quarter on the ATO, um, I was wondering if you could walk us through the play and what you were maybe seeing beforehand that you wanted to uh, maybe exploit with that. You want me to tell you that? Well, well I thought, you know, you know one, maybe. <laughs> Nothing. I thought they were just overhelping on a cutter, so I wanted to slip somebody to the basket. Next question, uh, third row to your left, Becky. Becky Jose Volante, Straight Bet Sports. Uh, Erica Hammy gave you 18 solid minutes off the bench tonight. Is it safe to say that she's 100% in back for you guys now? She looks pretty good to me. She keeps playing like that. She's going to keep playing. Um, her minutes have been impactful. Um, we're still trying to get her cardio back a little bit. Um, I know she got dog tired one time. Um, I tried to get her out as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, I mean, she's been a difference maker in the series. There's no doubt about it. Becky, to your right, standing. Willie Ramirez, Associated Press. Beck mentioned the paint defense, but the last game, when, when we asked what they weren't there, and you started off by talking about rebounds, both ends of the court, you, you ladies were getting second chance opportunities. How much was that a, a point of emphasis yesterday, and how did, how did you see that improve tonight? Well, I just, I want us to, this is a very, very good rebounding team. And we need to be in the mix with them the whole time. Um, I went back and when I looked at the Chicago series and then also the Connecticut series against this team last year, um, it was just a drubbing, drubbing on the, on the boards. 
And so that's, that's the key for us is, is boarding. Um, and I thought, you know, it, it wasn't that they quit going. They were still going, but we had bodies in front of them this time. And this is not a team that you meet at the rim because then by the time they bump you, you're under the rim, and the only thing you're getting is a, is a make. You have to meet them outside the charge circle, outside take up space so that by the time they bump you, you're where you need to be. And I thought we did a better job taking up space down there um, overall as a group. And, um, you know, just scrapping for every ball. We didn't want to get out hustled. We thought um, we got out hustled for 20 minutes in the first half of game one. We didn't want that to happen again. One more from the room, and then we'll turn to Zoom for another. Coach Cassandra Cousineau, LV Sports Biz. It's been quite a chess match, in-game chess match, between you, Kurt Miller, and your respective staffs. Can you talk to a little bit about how prepared your staff has been, and particularly coming out of timeouts, and how important that's been for you? Well, we wanted a real emphasis today on getting stops out of timeouts. Um, you know, again, I go back to this is a series of concepts more than, yes, we have our schemes, this and that, but this is a concepts game. Conceptually, what are we trying to do as a team? Um, and so we've had, uh, obviously, a little bit extra uh, focus on ATOs. I thought they destroyed our zone, uh, so they, <laughs> they made their, um, their adjustments there. Um, I went back to it because I felt like we could still get a stop. We got a couple stops late, but early on they, they pretty much destroyed it. It wasn't until we could look at a halftime with the group to kind of uh, nail some things down a little bit. Um, we also just stayed man when they went big and put Chelsea Gray on AT and just let her manage. Uh, Chelsea Gray is about the smartest basketball player. Um, I've been around, you can put her in a conversation. She's, her IQ is ridiculous. Um, so I'm just letting her uh, feel out and manage the game and kind of quarterback the game from a defensive end um, because they, a lot of times they move AT to the, uh, to the point when they do that. So, you know, we, we, both teams made adjustments. Um, you know, I thought the difference really in the game was, was, was Plum getting downhill. And it's a lot different when you can take some of their transition points away. Um, they beat us. Well, they beat us tonight too. Uh, but it was better. It wasn't. I didn't. It didn't feel as bad. Um, so sometimes you think you're doing something good, and then it's like, ooh, that did not feel good. And I, we, I didn't feel that tonight as much as it as I did the other night. So we'll turn to Zoom for one, possibly two questions. Uh, Lindsay, you're up. Hey, Becky, Lindsay Schnell from USA Today. Congratulations. Um, when you took this job, you talked about how one thing that appealed to you is the Aces saw you as a head coach right now, right away. I wondered, this season, how much of this has been about proving all the people who didn't think that about you wrong? And also, do you think everyone in the NBA feels dumb for not hiring you? <laughs> it's about putting these ladies in a position to win a championship. That's been my focus. That's why I took this job. I felt they had the talent to do it. And I felt um, that I could build the relationships and build a culture in the right way for us to, to put ourselves in a position to be able to win a championship. Like I said before, we haven't won anything yet. Um, all we did is take care of home court. We did what we were supposed to do. Um, but I'm used to people not picking me. I don't know if you're aware. I just do me. Thank you. Becky, thank you. 